How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for pediatrics for 2CK. We've got a difficult question for anatomy MSK for step one. I have seen this float around the NBME content for step one all over the 2CK pediatrics forms. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. MHL man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. And I'll start the clip. So 13 year boy, two month history of left thigh and knee pain. There's no history of trauma. Pain is exacerbated with activity, mitigated with rest. He walks with an ontologic gait, BMI is 20. Question wants to know the most likely explanation for these findings. We have this x-ray here. So firstly, ontologic gait does not refer to any one specific condition. It simply means an abnormal gait due to pain, a limp due to pain. That's all this means, okay? You should also be aware that hip pathology, we clearly have a hip x-ray here. So hip pathology can sometimes refer to the knee, can sometimes cause knee pain. No, we don't have two unique pathologies uh, simultaneously. So we note that the BMI is 20. Okay, it's important to consider this for pediatric disorders. Now, let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, apophysitis, wrong fucking answer. So an apophysis or apophysis refers to a protuberance of bone. In theory, this could refer to osgood schlatter which is inflammation of the patellar tendon where it inserts on the tibial tuberosity. Classically going to be a 14 to 16 year old fast growing boy who plays soccer who has a a uh, painful bump below his kneecap. You're gonna do quadriceps strengthening exercises, acetaminophen, NSAIDs, bed rest, wrong fucking answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, attenuated blood flow, wrong answer. So if if we, if we have idiopathic, a vascular necrosis of the femoral head, that's referred to as leg calf parathes or leg calf parathes. That's going to be a five to eight year old boy on the USMLA, okay? QBank is different, I don't give a fuck. NBME, US simile, it's a five to eight year old boy. So even without this x-ray here, if we just had this vignette alone, nothing else, and they said the kid was five to eight, answer would be leg calf parathes, okay? But we're outside that age range, and we've got an x-ray not indicative. Leg calf parathes, if we have a vascular necrosis of the femoral head, you're going to see a contracted femoral head. Contracted is an important word you need to associate with a vascular necrosis, okay? So you can see if, for example, the, the right hip is normal here, the left side of this image, if we look at this uh, femoral head, it looks very round, nice semicircle here. Well, you would see this eroded and the remaining bone would look flattened. Okay, that's what we expect if we had avascular necrosis. Sometimes they show you an MRI where the superior portion of the femoral head looks black, which means the remaining part that's not necrosed, the white part, is just flattened. Okay, so that's like calf parathes or like calf parathes. If we have a definite secondary ideology causing a vascular necrosis such as sickle cell, we don't call it like calf parathes. We just call it a vascular necrosis due to sickle cell. Okay, you get micro infarcts uh, feeding the, uh, the blood supply going to the femoral head, usually the medial circumflex femoral artery, can be chronic glucocorticoid use, can be gaucher, okay, lysosomal storage disease, glucose cerebrosidase deficiency, build up a glucose cerebrosidase. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, displacement of epiphysis, correct answer. So this is Skiffy, slipped capital femoral epiphysis. And you look at this x-ray here, this is showing us what colloquially is referred to as ice cream slipping off the cone. That's what this looks like. So very buzzy image. Now, if you're astute and you have some pediatrics knowledge, you'll say, wait, I don't get it though, Michael. BMI is only 20. You're right. Okay. But don't take it up with me and take it up with the NBME exam because on one of the new 2CK PEDS questions, they tell you explicitly the BMI is 20. So for those of you who aren't aware, don't know what Skiffy is, it's going to be classically an 11 to 13 year old overweight pre-adolescent boy with a painful limp. Okay. Now the BMI is 20. It's unusual, but it teaches you two things. Number one, it's not mandatory the kid is overweight. I've also seen another vignette for Skiffy where they didn't mention BMI slash weight whatsoever, okay? And the second point is when they show you an overwhelmingly obvious x-ray such as this with the ice cream slipping off the cone, it's undeniable that it's Skiffy regardless of the BMI. So you have to use your fucking head, all right? You're gonna do surgical pinning to treat. Just real quick through the other answer choices, D, could be rickets, okay, in children, osteomalacia in adults, could even be older patients who have chronic renal failure with renal osteodystrophy, vitamin D deficiency, where they get that failure of osteoid mineralization. Wrong fucking answer. Choice Z, poorly developed acetabulum, wrong answer. This refers to primary hip dysplasia or developmental dysplasia of the hip. 
this is going to be uh, a kid in the first year of life, and it's going to be clicking clunking on physical exam. That's the positive Ortolani Barlow maneuvers. Next best step is ortho referral if it's listed. Sounds wrong, but you need to know if it's listed, choose ortho referral. If it's not listed, you go straight to imaging. If under six months, choose ultrasound. If over six months, choose x ray. And then for treatment, you're going to do Pavlik harness, P A V L I K harness. But you need to know that that can show up on 2CK as just abduction harness. It's a frog leg looking harness. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'll make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.